get ready to go retro since we finally got the Shoei Glamster on the table here, where we'll review it and then take it out to see how it does on our road test. Sebastian from Champion Helmets here, and we finally got one of the most anticipated showy full face helmets for 2020 here on the table. With its retro styling but modern showy safety, there doesn't seem to be anything that this helmet isn't going to offer. Though, for good measure, we'll still be taking it out on a road test to make sure. The showy Glamster will also be bringing a more conventional full face retro helmet style, as opposed to the showy X Zero, which straddled the line between a full face, open face, and a cross helmet, though it was also very retro. So it is definitely more targeted at the more day-to-day -day type of rider who wants the safety of a Shoei full-face helmet, but with an urban riding focus. Regardless, the Shoei Glamster will be coming at a recommended retail price of about 500 euros, or about 540 US dollars. This means it will compete directly with the AGV X3000 and the also recently released Arai Concept X, which only serves to make choosing between the two even more difficult. If you'd like to find out more about the retro helmets out there, make sure to subscribe and head to our YouTube channel to find full reviews and road tests for these and many more helmets. The shell of the Glamster is Shoei's Advanced Integrated Matrix Shell, or AIM, which is their own shell material made of a variety of materials to make a light and strong helmet. The EPS liner also comes as dual density, which will allow it to perform better at shock absorption across a wide range of energies. The helmet will be coming in three shell sizes, covering sizes XS to XXL, so that's one shell per two shell sizes. This is also great since it means the Glamster will be giving you a better fit for your size, which will also help with reducing weight and fatigue. The Glamster also comes in weighing at about 1,100 grams in a size M, and lastly, this helmet will have an intermediate oval head fit and uses a double D ring closure system. The ventilation in keeping with the Glamster's retro style has been kept simple and stylish. In the chin bar, you've got two mesh-covered always open vents that will direct airflow onto the visor. For the rest of the ventilation system, you're getting a sliding forehead vent that you also have standard with the Shoei NXR and the Shoei Expert 3 that you can just slide it up and down. Since this is a retro helmet again, the shell is largely solid, so for exhaust, there are two outlets in the back of the neck roll to allow air to escape out the EPS channels. The visor of the Glamster is Shoei's CPB1 visor, which is incorporating elements from Shoei's race helmets as well as fitting in well with this helmet style. So the visor seals well against the helmet, and to keep it closed, there's a visor lock on the bottom here that you can easily operate with gloves. If you need to open it, you just push it forward and the helmet will open. The visor is pinlock prepared, and the anti-fog pinlock insert is included in the box. To remove the visor of the Shoei Glamster, as with any of these retro helmets, you're going to need to bring along your handy screwdriver and cloth so that you don't accidentally scratch the helmet. You need to open the visor to the upright position and then you can already start unscrewing. A nice aspect of the Glamster is that the screws are made of metal, so it'll be nice and durable over time. Once you've got the screw out, the silver bracket will also pop out and the visor will be free, and then you just need to do the same for the other side. When putting the visor back in, you just need to make sure that the two plastic extrusions on the bottom of the bracket fit into the helmet and you can put the screw back in. So overall, it's nice and simple. The liner of the Shoei Glamster is Shoei's 3D liner, which means it will be detachable and washable, as well as also coming with emergency release cheek pads, which is definitely important, though a modern touch, since it lets people remove the helmet quickly and safely without having to work through the chin strap. It'll also fit glasses nicely, if you want to go for the full sunglasses retro look, or you happen to wear glasses. To look inside the helmet, you'll first have to remove the liner, which is very simple. Take the liner out. First, you'll start with the cheek pads. These are held in place with some buttons at the rear. The liner is a bit basic, but comfortable, and it is high quality, as always with Shoei. And you can also see the tabs for the emergency release and the leather along the bottom of the helmet. Lastly, you remove the comfort liner with two buttons on the back and four rivets in the forehead. The liner also looks good, and it's also got a few holes for extra ventilation. And looking at the EPS grooves now, they look nice and deep, and the EPS holes at the front get air directly from the front vent to feed into the channels. Now, let's see how the Glamster did out on the road. Just a quick reminder for our road test setup, on the left we have a white monitor showing the helmet's internal temperature in degrees Celsius, measured through a thermometer in the helmet's EPS channels. In the middle is our decibel meter, taking noise readings from a microphone placed near our rider's ear. On the right, we have a phone that's showing the airspeed for the day through a bike-mounted anemometer. Lastly, in the middle of the dash is our rider speed and the day's external temperature. When we took the Glamster out, it was a cool day, perfect for a cool helmet. 
We conducted the test at 130 km per hour on long stretches of highway. The day's wind speed ranged from between 120 and about 130 km per hour. And though the ventilation may be a bit on the simpler side, you can still expect it to do well over time. Though our riders just jumped on the bike here, we found the helmet's internal temperature to be about 11 degrees, and the day's temperature was about 9 degrees Celsius, so that's a 2 degree difference. For noise, the Glamster performed at about 102 decibels, which again is a decent result, just like with the ventilation. During the test, our rider found the Glamster to have a pretty good level of comfort. And though it wasn't quite as comfortable as some of Shoei's other helmets, like the Neodac 2, this helmet is meant to be a little bit simpler overall, so you can just enjoy your ride and have a great sense of style. He also mentioned that, unsurprisingly, the helmet is not built for aerodynamics, but thanks to its light weight, it's still fine to ride with. The only other downside our rider found with the helmet was that he found the visor mechanism could have been more user-friendly, and it needs to be pushed forward to open, which is definitely something you'll need to get used to. For the helmet as a whole, though, our rider was pretty happy with it, and it does what it says on the box, it gives you plenty of style and safety, though at the slight cost of fewer frills. Now, let's see how many stars the Glamster finally earned. For material, the Glamster earned 4 stars thanks to its aim shell and 3 shell sizes. For weight, we were very pleasantly surprised since this helmet gets 5 stars for its sub-1200 gram mark. The visor earns 4 stars since it is pinlock prepared and in the box, and though the mechanism takes some getting used to, this should improve over time. With a 2 degree difference to the outside, the Glamster gets 3 stars for ventilation, and the same goes for noise with its 102 decibels. Lastly, for comfort, the Glamster's liner gets itself another 3 stars. Overall, this still means the Glamster comes in with 3.5 stars, and each of these stars will be coming at 23 euros per star, which also isn't bad for a premium helmet. Though there are areas where the helmet could do a bit better, the Glamster does fairly well overall, and we do see some improvement in what this retro helmet is bringing us compared to other retro helmets available. If you'd like to purchase the Shoei Glamster, make sure to head to championhelmets.com where we have a lowest price guarantee and great bundle deals including a free additional visor, and you can always reach out to us via our live chat. The Shoei Glamster, as is most any helmet from Shoei, top notch in safety, performance, and its retro look. Though it won't come with quite as many frills as the Xperia 3, it's not really meant to since it's a retro helmet and it's going for a simpler but well executed and sleek look. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe and let us know what you think in the comments down below. I'm Sebastian from Champion Helmets, and see you next time.